Mindset for Greatness Life-changing transformation coach Anthony L. Williams teaches you how to quickly remove the unconscious blocks that are putting up resistance to your goals and your creations. Step through the door to your superconscious and never look back. What to go on? How are you? All right, so as how you say it, Callie oh, Wyatt wants to know what ancient deity walks with. Her. Now, my visions show me clearly. They just showed me Ankhenaten walks with you. Ankhenaten, go look up Ankhenaten walks with you. Clearly, they as soon as you said I decided to see it and say it. They showed me that vision of him. Who else? Candy Rain. What did she walks with you? Who walks with you? Candy Rain. Candy Rain. Who walks with you? Candy Rain. Queen Hepsetchet walks with you. Queen Hepsetchet. So Doofus about me. So Doofus Duckface. I don't like that name. God damn it. Take that shit. So Doofus Duckface. No. No, I don't even say it. I don't even say it. So Doofus. Just call him, uh, what's his name? Doofus. I'm going to just call you Doofus. All right, Doofus. All right, so Ramesses the Third walks with you. Ramesses the Third. That's who I see. Ramesses the Third. Go look him up. Go look him up. Ramesses the Third. Denzel is mine. Denzel belongs to Carletta. What's his wife's name? Stop playing. Stop playing. Denzel belongs to his wife. Okay, so your ancient deity is. Wow. Yours is ancient, ancient. Yours is Newt. N U T. Newt. The, the, the woman, the female that goes over the whole. The whole. Who are you talking to? Earth. A beeper papa? Beeper. No. Denzel is mine. Oh, Denzel is mine. I feel I have a rebellious spirit. BP Papo, if you got a rebellious spirit, then you better get your ass off of here, goddammit, because I don't do the rebellious spirits. You know what I mean? You need to have a humble, agreeable spirit when you're on this goddamn show, okay? We ain't dealing with no rebellious spirit. I'm going to fight you. Spiritually, I'll fight you. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. You're welcome, Denzel. Is mine. <laughs> All right. Um, Jay would go look up Ramesses the third. Hi, Ifa Dumini New Ifa Ben Me. How are you? A lot. I'm just so tired of the evil and the corruption and the chaos. And I think <coughs> if we're all in agreement with it, I think that if 70% of this earth feels the same way, it's going to start changing over. And I think it's happening anyway. Everybody wants peace. Everybody's tired of the evil and the unrighteous things and the greed. Everybody's tired of it. Damn. What, Everybody's what? tired. I don't know what's wrong with this phone. You see us doing that? Mm-hmm. Ken Smith. I see Nefertari walking with you. Nefertari. <laughs> what? Uh, Nikki Nakia. Nikki Nakia. Um, Queen Mother. I see. That's who? Oh. All set. That's set. Hey, Frankie. Jalisa. Hmm. Interesting, Jalisa. You know, Jalisa, you know, the Sphinx, the Sphinx or the Sphinx is a woman. And her real name is Hara Marquette. And I see that she walks with you, behind you. So, the Sphinx. You're welcome, Nikki Nikia. Divine Rain says a lot of people I know want um, abundance and peace. 
Yeah, divine rain, but we all got to put out the same energy because people are tired of the greed, the power, all the shit that they want. People are tired of it. So if we put out that same, everybody's tired of it and put out that same energy, y'all, it's going gonna, it's gonna to force the transformation to be more smoother. Meaning pretty much everybody's going to be at the same vibrational energy and they're just going to be like, we tired of this shit. Bring peace. Let, let, let the let the beans come down here and, and, and jump this shit and clean it up and let's get order and peace and fairness and balance on the earth again. In the care says, uh, who walks with me? Hmm. And the care of Bastet walks with you. As soon as you said it and I looked up, it showed Bastet was behind you. You know mm. Bastet, right? Mm. Yeah, she walks with you. I kept getting uh, the other one. The Segment? No, nah, the green man. The green, what's his name? Oh, Saeed. Oh, Not Osaid. No, I know who you're talking from about. Egypt, yeah, the, from uh, Egypt. I know who you're talking name? about. Um, we were just talking about him yesterday. I can't think of his name. You know which one? I know. No. Was it a, is it a sorry? Not a sorry. No. It, yeah, it is it's a sorry. A sorry. A sorry. The, the one that's saying, green. He's in I, charge of vegetation. I kept saying a sorry with her too. Well, really? you have you have two indicators. You got a sorry and you got Bastet with you. Yeah, you got Bastet with you. Hmm. Too many too many treaties been violated over our existence so what you see from me so far bp papa don't let it get to you just keep putting out the energy of change of what you want put out the energy of more of what you want to see okay more of what you want to see and that means if you want that to go away begin to start creating your own world i'm telling y'all it's going to work Start thinking what you want and watch it's just gonna start doing it out of your path. Mocha Brown. Oh, we hey, Mocha Brown. We skipped you. <laughs> Mocha Brown says, What ancient deity walks with her? Who do you see with her? Let me see. I'm picking up a um a woman. I don't know who she is. I, a female deity. Um uh, from Egypt. Um, um, what's the one with the swords? What's her name? Segment. I'm picking up Segment. Who else you see? I'm picking up Segment with you, uh, Mocha Brown. Too. You just didn't you just tell BP BP Papa? What? You say we skipped him. You skipped your BP Papa? Uh. Who? I don't know. Unless he was talking about something else you had said. <clears throat> BP Papa, you asking about what deity walks with you? Okay, can you spell a sec? I'm look it up. Spell a sec, met. Sec, met. I'm at sec, met, sec, met, sec, met, sec, met. S E K H M E T. Got it? All right, y'all. It's time to get off of here. It is now 1.35. Oh, damn. We went over. Yeah. I knew it was going to go over because everybody wanted to know. Everybody wanted to know. Y'all the... pressed the issue. We had to tell y'all. Exactly. Exactly, y'all. Because so, I wasn't going to say anything because you said we weren't going to do it. And then you, you said, oh, tell them what's what with them, brother. You're welcome. It's amazing. <laughs> A lot of us hit different deities. Amazing. Yeah, well, we are the ancient ones that rise. They said we shall rise in the West and we're rising. That's why BP Papa will just keep your head up. And whatever you want to see change, it's going to change. 
Remember, we're at a time where we're creating, we're creating our own world now. Okay? So whatever kind of world you want to live in is the kind of world you're going to create. Yep. And the ancestors are here. They're here. They're not playing no more. You know, I will say a lot of people, a lot of people, I ain't going to say a lot, but there's a few people that have dwarfs walking with them and don't even know it. Yeah. There's, they are. They just don't know their names, which you can ask. I see. It's a... Uh, few people on here got dwarfs with them. Who you see you got dwarfs? BP Popo, that's your that that's your Indi American Indian. We're talking about the ancient ones. Before the American about, Indians. We were talk yeah. Last time we only did, we were only doing the American uh, Indian, the ancient American tribes that were walking with people. This time we were doing ancient ones like, you know, like the uh, the Egyptians and stuff like that. Somebody on here also got uh, Ganesha walking with them. Somebody here got Ganesha. What Nikki the kid? We didn't give you yours. We didn't give you yours, Nikki the kid. We didn't give you your um, ancient one. Did we give her one? No, she's talking about the dwarf. The dwarf, do she got a dwarf with her? <laughs> she wanted us. To... She wants the dwarfs, cause she know how they are. <laughs> you may still have one walking with you. Uh, I, I, I'm sure. She wants. Do you feel like they're still around you, uh, Nikki Nikia? You feel like they're still around you? Why you want a dwarf so bad? <laughs> I mean, you know what? They're powerful. She, right, they're very powerful. Now I know, and that's why I know she want one, because she know <laughs> the dwarfs don't play, that's why she want one. Uh, look, see, now you ask. I thought you told him. Mm -mm. He's got a moon with him. A moon? Mm hmm. Hmm. Wow, that's powerful. Our moon is welcome with you, BP Popo. You ready, uh, Frankie? It's start Sunday. Sunday. Okay, and before we go, we'll put it out one more time. We're teaching class. It starts Sunday. It's an eight-week class. Nine-week class, actually, because you tested actually. the ninth week. Um, and Frankie, you, on, you only pay for just the class only. Right. So when you, when you um, if you want to sign up for the class, go to our website, wunamadadinkwa.com, W-U-N-A-M. <laughs> and A N D and then A D I N K R A dot com. We know I'm going to do com. Sign up for the class. We're starting Sunday. It's going to be fun. We're going to have fun. You'll learn about African spirituality. You Oh, did we miss one? We said about the ancestral wor worship. Yeah. You know, it's, it's crazy because, like, when you was, every time we give out the uh, website, a lot of people <laughs> mess well, it up when we t give them the website. Mm hmm. Wunam and Adinkra, they, they, I don't know why. I think it's the N. Right. Because it's, you know, it messes well, it up. Well, it's spelled A N D E. So. Frankie said, what else was he supposed to buy? Oh, the mat, the mat comes with it, but you had paid for it before we uh, included the mat. Because we was uh, getting ready to include the mat, and you paid for it but right before I was getting ready to change the price and include the mat with the class. So you will learn how to do divination. You will learn how to do divination. Everybody and their mother got tarot cards. In African spirituality, we use divination mats. Okay? It's called the Na'ani Imara. A Na'ani Imara mat. Okay? So we're saying that this class consists of learning oh. ancestral worship, learning about four popular tribes in Africa, their gods and their goddesses, their attributes, and the offerings, you'll be able to use these gods. Um, you'll learn about African magic using air, water, earth, and fire. Okay, and you'll learn divination. And it's an eight-week class, actually a nine-week class. Every Sunday at 8 o'clock, you can sign up at our website if you want to join the class for Sunday. It's for a, those uh, who said their pockets and banks don't look right, we'll do half and half, but you got two weeks to pay the other half. Uh, Frankie, it's uh, another $150. If you want the mat, he said he need the mat. Yeah, the class is four fifty for those who want to know the prices, but we will do half and half. 